office needs to be a space that you can get creative in. You've got to get a lot of work done. But if it looks like this room here, it's all a little bit drab. So what we're going to do is we're going to transform the feel by using some really cool painting techniques, some gorgeous colours and geometry as well on this particular wall. But to do that, I've brought in my friend Mark because he knows all about getting the best possible finish and using the right technique. So where do we start with this, Mark? Well, firstly, Leah, it's all about the preparation, right? So we're going to do some sanding, some dusting, some filling. Then we're going to do some really clever stuff with some quality mask and tape. But first, it's all about getting the prep done. Get cracking. Mark, I think we're really lucky with the fact that this is such a boring neutral base colour <laughs> that we've got to work with. Yep. But the beautiful part about that is I want to do a geometric pattern using the painter's tape. Yep. And once we put the tape down, yep. this colour will be the border for all this gorgeous colour that we're going to put around it. So, not that much into symmetry, okay. to be honest, but I'm thinking starting in the middle point yes. with the tape and bringing it down maybe about 300 mil might be a good place to start. What do you think? I'll give it a go. OK. Any special technique of putting the painter's tape on? No, no, no. This is really good tape. So the reason we're using this stuff is because A, it's going to peel off with that lift and paint, and B, we're going to get really nice sharp lines for you. It's beautiful. Cool. Yep, absolutely. We'll Tear off. it off. Now, from that point, line coming down. Yes. Yeah, we're going to slice and dice and splice. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I really like about this? We're not measuring it up. No. We're just going where the tape leads us. So anyone can do this. Exactly. OK, you ready? So just give myself plenty of... Just let it fall. And if it's sitting flush with the wall, it, uh, for all intents and purposes, is straight. Awesome. Now that we've got our basic outline for where the geometric colour pattern's going to be, now we can actually have some fun with it. Looks good to me. Drop it down. Why don't we take it from this point here and then bring it up? Give a bit of dimension. Yeah. Can we follow that up? That looks great. So all we need to do now is get some paint on these walls. Let's do Let's it. Let's do it. We've got our predominant colour for this feature wall, which is going to be this gorgeous grey. Yeah. Cutting in, I really, really want to be careful with this cutting in because the last thing we need is for paint to seep under this tape. So what is the best technique to okay. get the best finish? I keep banging on about using quality tape, yeah. but we're going to use a quality brush that's going to give us super control, OK? Always put the paint on away from where we want it first because you've got a lot of paint there, so you don't want that against the edge. No. And here's a real good tip. What I want you to do then is angle your brush on a 45 degree angle so as you can see, it's just the tip or the corner of that beautiful brush that's giving you that lovely straight edge. Then you feather it off so there's no thick edge. And that's how we do the cutting in all the way around. Now you've shown me how to do it, I'm going to do get it. Stuck in. <laughs> So now that we have this beautiful colour cut in ready to go, why are we not using a brush to paint the inside of this particular piece? The problem with brushing the whole thing is you get brush marks all over it, whereas you want it to look like the whole wall which is always rolled. So you use a mini roller because they're so much smaller, you get so much more control and you still get that smooth rolled finish. I use it the same sort of way that I would use. Same uh, process. Okay, so start from the middle, yep. it's loaded and up I go. Absolutely. Oh, oh. isn't that nice? It's a lot quicker than using a brush. Yeah, too. and you get more control, yeah? Yeah. Because it's so light. So how's that one? Almost done, Mark. How good does it look? Seriously? It looks sensational. All right, now what do I do with this? Okay, before we do our last colour, yeah. here's a great tip. Put a bit of paint on that roller as if you're going to use it, because we're keeping it moist. Okay. Not going to wash it out, because we're going to use it for the next coat. Yeah. Little storage container. Press down, out it comes. Nice! Store that, no paint anywhere, won't dry out. Oh, love it. So now all we have to do is just wait for this coat to dry, then we'll put another coat on it, 
take the tape off and our geometric personality wall is going to be finished. Moment of truth. It's all finished. How easily does that come off? I love that feeling. It's like ripping off a band-aid, but very slowly. Yep. And last bit. Bang. How good does it look? Girl. High five me, buddy. Super. Nice job. Well done. A couple of hours, some gorgeous colours, some great technique. Personality on a wall. Magic. Yeah, we better go clean those brushes. Yep. <laughs> Come on. Before this room was just dull, uninspired and insignificant. Now we've been able to transform it into a really beautiful home office. And when we had the opportunity to bring our furniture back in, you'll notice that we kept it really minimal. We edited everything right back. Reason being, a cluttered space equals a cluttered mind and you don't want that in a home office. Now we have all this gorgeous colour. We don't need artwork on the wall. We're inspired enough. It's beautiful, it's welcoming and in a space like this, even paying bills will become a really nice experience.